by designers. Johnny, he is a two-time Olympian and a three-time U.S. national champion, and now he is a famed figure skating commentator known for his fabulous and fantastic looks. Tara Lipinski, she's an Olympic champion, world champion, U.S. champion, and now best known for serving flawless looks and her iconic commentary. Designers, your challenge is to create looks for us. We will be wearing the winning team's looks live for the Paris Short Program during the Winter Olympics on NBC. Woo! To accomplish this, we're splitting you into pairs. One of you will make a look for me, and the other will make a look for Johnny. These model cards are all different colors, and Johnny will randomly pass them out oh. to you. Match up your color to find your new teammate. This is a one day challenge. You have 30 minutes to sketch with your partner now. Good luck, guys. The wrap that have like a applique everywhere and just oh, like cover oh. this, cover this shape. It is important to have a team leader in each challenge. If I am the leader, we have a better chance to win. It's gonna be a, a challenge for me to do menswear, considering I'm a women's wear designer, but Praje has never done menswear himself. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll tackle the menswear portion. I need to win this one. The hardest part is going to be partnering with someone and making compromises and keeping my voice. All right, everybody. Let's go to move. You have 45 minutes to shop, and you have a budget of $1,200 per team. Whoa. Go. It's like a minute. You have to be in line. Well, Give me everything that we have cut so it's yeah. in line. Yeah. Yeah, the ticket can come later. Thank you. All right, designers, that's it. That's time. <laughs> You know, this is my first time draped the pan. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm taking a little bit of the back seat on this one. She sees very, like, straight, direct, you know, way of doing things. Hi, everybody. I know every challenge is not always going to be your thing. That doesn't mean that you're not talented and amazing and could still win this whole thing. So once again, I will have a Suriano save. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. So if there is an elimination that I think is just bad timing, bad luck, or just bad, I'm gonna save one of you and keep you in. Where is your fabric? Up here. The silk wool. Your base. This was the base. No, this is my fabric. Wait, we didn't get the, the we didn't inside? Cut it? Because we cut everything. Right. I think we have enough to play. The plan was for a blazer, but we don't have enough fabric. We figure out a way to pattern so that we can make the pant and the vest out of the same thing, and we add the mirror beaded mesh on top to like give it a little bit of difference. Hello, ladies. However you play with proportions on Tara, she's short, she's so cute as a button. So yeah. the oversized slouchy thing that you do amazing, work on proportion. For me, I was trying to do like a pencil dress mm -hmm. up to her knee. It's like a tuxedo, but then it's like very uh, short here. A halter. Mm -hmm. so it's a wrap, it's a cutout, it's halter, it's mini, it's sexy. It's sexy, it's back, back cleaves, yeah. I think you should narrow it down. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. You guys are gonna have to chit chat because you're going in a totally different world than this is now. You're adding D-rings and tied up strips and things, and she's making literally couldn't be more different. I'm doing exactly what I drew, so are you. But now that we see them together. I can change that pink ruffle and make it. I would get rid of that whole color. I would do the top black. You got to figure out what this dress is. Why does it have to be like lapels, though? Because he was doing lapels, so I was yeah. thinking about uh, a little Maybe bit. Maybe that doesn't work for this, for her, with this beating. He's saying all these critiques, and you know what is the worst thing? He's right. I don't like what I'm doing right now. Why are you stuck on this pleated waist bubbled jacket? Well, it could be a different shape. You haven't finished it yet. Put, do it like a bomber jacket. You can do it. Sorry, I'm just going to pin it up here, and then mm -hmm. you can yell at me. This is just an idea. You still do black on the bottom here, okay? But the bottom part of this side 
Like the whole skirt is going to be the blue bubbles. See, that's pretty like a structured side and a loose side. Actually, I like it. It looks more different instead of just like one beaded dress. I think it needs to be a little bit more punkish, a little bit more bondage-ish. Because of my religious beliefs, I do dress more modestly. I grew up Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints my whole life. Octavio thinks that we should cinch it in closer to her body, not have it be loose like I was thinking. At the end of the day, I want to be the winner. I'm open to trying different things that even I wouldn't wear. You love this skirt? I do. And what it does? It's a little too on the nose ice skatery, flippy do. Like, I think you could modernize it a little bit. All right, guys, that's it. Say goodbye to your models. I'm, I'm so tired, I can't even do it. This is why we came here for, is a competition. Pajet, I'm in pain, okay? You don't understand. Everybody's in pain. I didn't open up to Pajet about my arthritis because I didn't want Pajet to feel sorry for me. My instincts are telling me that this top just is not enough of what it needs to be for TV. You okay? Just, this hip hurts. It's prosthetic, so it's taking a toll on me. Is there something you can do? Ice it, maybe? I took steroids and anti-inflammatory just now. I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay, time's out. What's this? Is the tie? Should it tuck in? Is that better? Yeah. Designer, time's up. Let's head to the runway. Let's start the show. The winner of the challenge will come from the winning team, and someone from the losing team will be out.